Rules can be queued for delayed or periodic execution to automate tasks. Tasks that interact with remote systems or tape archives should be queued for execution. Once the rule is queued, the session is terminated and the client can then perform other tasks. This makes the system more responsive. Tasks can also be automated with the data grid managing the repeated execution of a rule. The microservice used to queue a rule for delayed execution is called delay. Input parameters for the delay command control whether the queued rule will be executed at a future time, executed periodically, executed at a remote location, or some combination of these controls. The syntax for the delay command is shown here. The delay command has one argument and controls the execution of the operation specified in the braces. Delay, command value, slash command, microservices. The microservices listed within the braces are executed under the control of the rule engine. Since the original session will have been terminated, all session variables that are used must have been saved in workflow variables. Also, only the microservices specified within the braces and policy functions in the rule base will be executed. A standard approach is to save the session variables and workflow variables, then call a function that executes the delay command. The execution control commands used in the delay argument are ET, execute at an absolute date and time, plus ET, execute at a specified time interval in the future, EF, execute multiple times at a specified frequency, EA, execute at a remote host. The value associated with control command depends upon which control is being used. The allowed values for the delay microservice are written in the form n u space command, where n is a number, u is a time unit, s for seconds, m for minutes, h for hours, d for days, y for years, and command is used to control the execution frequency. Thus, to execute a delayed rule after a wait of seven seconds, use delay plus et seven seconds slash plus et. The operations in the braces will be executed after a delay of seven seconds. The commands associated with execution frequency are repeat forever, repeat until success, repeat n times, n is an integer, repeat until time, where time is day, hour, minute, second, or year, month, day, hour, minute, second, repeat until success or until time, repeat until success or n times, double until time, this doubles the wait period each time it's executed. Double until success or until time. Double until success or in times. Double until success up to a given time. The double command doubles the interval between each execution. Double until success up to time sets a maximum time interval between tries. To queue a rule and start execution after one second, use delay plus ET one second slash plus et. To start execution after one second and repeat execution each hour, use delay plus et one second slash plus et, ef one hour slash ef. To start execution after one minute and repeat execution at 10 minute intervals up to five times or until success, use delay plus et one minute slash plus et, ef 10 minute repeat until success or five times slash EF. To start execution after one second and execute at a remote host, use delay plus ET one second slash plus ET EA host name slash EA, where the host name is the host address where an IROD server resides. This can be used to do computation at the site where the data are physically located. Note that you cannot get information written back to your screen from a delayed rule. You will have to write output to a log file. Take seven minutes and complete exercise 53. Write a rule that does the delayed execution of a write to a log file. Use the create log file policy function to create the log file. An example is in chapter 4.2.3 of the policy examples workbook. Please load your rule file into the lifetime library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class.